It was the day of the great Acacia Road to Paris air race, banana fans. There on the airfield behind the gasworks, the flying machines were on the runway, and their pilots were preparing for the great adventure. That's General Blight in his turbocharged fighter, and his old school chum, Dr. Gloom. Let go, you fool! I meant more choke on the engine! And there, in a plane specially stolen for the occasion, are Eddie the Gent and Morris the Muscle. And that's it. The flying banana is ready for takeoff. What chance will you have in an old banana crate like that, Mr. B? With all due respect, sir. Don't be fooled by its appearance, Grindle. The FB-101 is powered by one of the strongest elastics known to man. You'll never guess where I got it before. Uh, ready, Mr. B? Contact. Contact. Hey, 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 Did you enjoy that little spin, Grindle? Oh, ho, oh. ho. Oh, oh, yourself, Mr. B. Contact. There's Banana Man, Morris. Bombs away. Bombs? We don't have any bombs, Eddie. You said it would be a picnic. Oh, very well. Picnic lunch away! What's it, Mark? Take that. And this. And a couple of these. We're going down, Eddie. Afraid so, Morris, old chap. Ah, but remember, the pilot is the last man to leave the ship. Oh, goodbye, Eddie. I'll miss you. No, I've just promoted you, Morris. You're the pilot. Congratulations. Here, take the wheel. Thank you, boss. Well, banana fans, that's one pair of villains out of the way. But somewhere in those unfriendly skies, other dangers may be lurking. There's one. General Blight's plane. It's a long way off, Beaky. I mean, General, but that's the flying banana. Right ho, Doc. I'll switch on turbo power and tally ho! Landing at six o'clock, boss. Plenty of time, Crow. It's only 2.30. Bye-bye, General. See you in Paris. Oh, no, you won't. You stop like that, Big B. Air brakes, Crow. And now to battle. This is the worst part, you know. The awful waiting, wondering. You win this time, Banana Man, but I shall have my revenge. <laughs> That's Paris, France, Crow. We've won! Bonjour, Monsieur Crow! What? Oh, 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 oh la la. I, I, um, um, I'll see you later, boss. Ha! <coughs> now then, ma chérie, kill Belle Corbeau's it, to be sure. Oh, cool. Turn, Crow. I spy something beginning with K. I'll give up. Cow. K O W. Soinks! Uh, nothing like a railway journey, eh, Crow? All that lovely scenery and not a care in the world. Ah, except delivering a shipment of bananas to Banana Junction. Now don't forget that banana man. You worry too much, Crow. Those bananas are safely locked away in the mail van. Besides, who would want to steal them? I spy it with my little eye, something beginning with HM, the heavy mob. That's who. Big B's little pal was right. 
All you banana fans out there, turn your heads upside down and you'll see Eddie the Gent, Morris the Muscle, Rembrandt and Fingers. The heavy mob. They mustn't get to those bananas. Hurry, <laughs> Eddie. Banana man's after us. They hit me with, Crow. A railway tunnel, Bigby. I knew it was something big. Let's get them, Crow. Hurry, Morris. Unhitch the rest of the train, and we'll be off with the bananas. I'm doing my best, Eddie. What do we want with all them bananas, Eddie? You start eating bananas regularly, Fingers, and you too could have a body like Banana Man. There, I've done it, Eddie. We're on our way. Oh, no, you're not. Gosh, Eddie, look at all those muscles. Now we'll see how much Paul Big B has around here, banana fans. What a challenge for the great crime fighter. His mighty banana biceps against the relentless pull of a 1,000 horsepower locomotive. That's an awful lot of horses, banana fans, but I'll do my best. <laughs> Mob, Eddie the Gent. Banana napping is a pretty serious offence. Uh, you're making a big mistake, Banana Man. We, 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 we don't steal bananas, only money. <laughs> oh, all, all right, we'll um, come quietly. Now what, boss? I'm sending them to the police station, Crow. Say, Crow, won't Chief O'Reilly be surprised when he opens his mail? Oh, very well. He didn't put any stamps on him. <laughs> You've gone all quiet, Eddie. Yes, I thought up a great new plan. We could disguise ourselves as mailbags, walk into a post office, and then. Night, 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 night Eddie. Yeah. Just in the nick of time, Mr. Peel. I'm down to my last two bananas. That's what I came to tell you, Eric. I don't have any. You mean, you don't have any bananas? Yes, we have no bananas. Not a single banana boat has left the Banana Republic in over a fortnight because of an outbreak of spotty banana blight. There are also unconfirmed reports of a new arrival in the banana jungle. A mysterious stranger wearing a tin helmet and a false nose. False news! False news! This is the real thing, Fiona! Without bananas, I can never transform myself into Banana Man to carry on the fight against crime and injustice. And I've only got two bananas left. Ooh. Oh, heck. I suppose it must have been overripe. Well, the last banana. Here goes. Those biting remarks were lost on Banana Man. The supersonic sleuth was on his way. Well, welcome to our humble banana plantation, senor. I say, haven't we met before? I'm sure I've seen that false nose somewhere. Possibly. I am a master of a thousand disguises, and one of them is Banana Health Officer. <laughs> Hold this banana, hombre, my faithful. 
for enchiladas while I give him something for air sickness. Air sickness? I don't get air sick. I can fly like a bird. Never mind, it's good for Dandroff as well. Oh. Oh. The big banana fainted. I always knew he was yellow. Let us go then, my faithful sombreros. We've got a new crop of bananas that needs spotting. I didn't really paint the banana band. That was a trick. Now I shall track them to their hideout. How long have you been taking a pee, Leslie? He ain't half gonna do himself an injury reaching for those high notes. Looks like the real thing, doesn't it? <laughs> instant banana blight. Or instant trouble, General Blight. The game's up. Cassis! He's seen through my clever disguise. Charge, my brave tortillas! <laughs> they had me worried, fans, for a millisecond. But those fellas just couldn't stand up to banana power. Now, let me see. Now, yeah, right, now, change gear. Change gear? Right. Now, the conveyor should bring back those spotted bananas. Like the bananas? Now, get the spray gun thingy. There's the spray gun. And reverse it. Reverse? And there goes the spot. Oh, yeah. And finally, General Blight, a taste of your own medicine. Oh, banana man, you drive me dotty. Banana nutshells, senor. I am the real banana health officer. I declare all those bananas healthy and delicious. But this bunch, they'll be locked up in quarantine for a long, long time. Senor. And so, thanks to Banana Man, once again the world is a safer place for... Bananas! One day, people at the bus stop saw a strange figure in the morning sky. Was it a plane? No. Was it a wandering albatross? It was not. Banana fans, this thing, half apple, half man, was a powerful humanoid created by Dr. Gloom. He had muscles where no man had muscles before. Now, listen to me, Apple Man. Your mission is to seek out and destroy Banana Man. You're the bastard. Where do I start? Well, now, General Blight and I suspect that Eric knows where Banana Man is. And so, I shall persuade the little twit to go to the old sawmill. Then, it's up to you. Where is to obey? Bye-bye for now, Doc. This note says, meet me at the old sawmill at noon for a chat about Banana Man. I don't like it, Cousin Eric. That old mill's a creepy place, and the note isn't even signed. I don't like it either, Samantha, but it's about Banana Man, so I must go. And I'm coming too. Well, Eric, where is this person, and what does he want? To ask you one question, my dears. Uh, Where's Banana Man? Who are you? Don't get yourself in a stew, my little dumpling. I'm Apple Man. Big B and I, your old friends, used to do weight training together. Where is he? I don't know. And I won't tell. You're barking up the wrong tree, Apple Man. We'll see about that, my little flower. You may sing a different tune when your little playmate gets her hair cut. The hard way. Last chance to tell me where Banana Man is, Eric. Or it's good to manter forever. Oh, 
Did you hear somebody call? Ah, this is our thought. The trunk call. <laughs> Here, kid, come on, have a banana. <laughs> Thanks, Pro. That banana was delicious. There's no time to lose. I'll free Sam with a banana laser beam. Arr, 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 arr. And here's something for Apple Man. Yep. villains with more backbone, Crow. Look at Apple Man run. Yes, you must have frightened him, boss. Turn his knees to jelly. <laughs> Apple jelly. <laughs> One summer morning, a grey, chilling fog swept down Acacia Road. I've heard of fogs like pea soup, but look at this. It's more like minestrone. Oh, I can't see the gasworks or even the corner shop. I wonder if it's on telly. <laughs> More reports are coming in of widespread fog. The worst since 1743 when Tunbridge Wells was lost in a similar fog and wasn't found again for seven years. <clears throat> All international traffic at the airport has been grounded. <clears throat> However, an unidentified airship has been sighted over the coast. Did you hear that? We've been spotted, weatherman. What do we do? What do we do? Oh, I know. Ah, 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 ah. Do not panic. Keep your helmet on, General Blight. Just pull that red lever and we shall disappear into a cloud of fog. Oops, there we go. Fog in midsummer and now an unidentified airship. This sounds like another dangerous mission for... Great fire of terror, streaking through threatening skies into that fog of fear. Now, where is that airship? That way, Banana Man. Is that you, Crow? Speak up, I can't hear you. No, yeah, I'm not surprised about that. Oh, I've got a fog in me throat. Ah, 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 sorry, they went that way, Big B, towards the oil rig. Aha! I detect a propeller-driven craft. And now to pierce this fog with my banana torch. Blistering banana skins. It's the weatherman's submersible airship. And look! So that's there. And eh? This fog is the great oil rig hijack. Tally ho! Once again, hunter and destroyer faced each other in deadly undersea combat. A barrage of banana-seeking torpedoes sped towards Banana Man. That is the last Banana Man General. I shall need my leather flying helmet. Oh, my uh, Full speed ahead, please. Was it all over, Banana fans? Was that the end of a great champion? Not quite, fans. But hark, what was this new danger? Wales! And I thought we were off the coast of Scotland. Banana Man was never brilliant at geography, fans. His favorite subject is action. A surge of banana power rippled through those sinews of steel. And then... See? And then, as he was carried along, a daring plan 
Oh, banana man's pretty. Mine. Even the powerful motors of the airship were no match for the mighty monarch of the deep. No, things were not going well for the bad guys this day. A little salt with your helmet, weatherman? What's all that about, crew? Oh, hi, that's Banana Man. He's having a whale of a time. <laughs>